this is super exciting, yeah. Something for the living room, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once again, I, I, like I said earlier, it's like I'm a kid in the candy store seeing all these cool components. Yeah, and here's one time the full range of our expansion valves or our electronic valves. I don't want to say only expansion valves because it's just a motor driven valve. I can use it as an expansion valve uh, when I have the right driver. Um, as an example, an EVD Evolution or an EVD Mini, they are super heat controller, and so I have an expansion valve and it's driven by that. I love this. And, and so that's a big thing. All yours are stepper valves, is yeah. that correct? So the difference between a stepper valve and a pulse width modulation valve, the pulse width, they'll open and close, up and close, open and close. And I've never found them. You fine tune them, you can get them close, but they're not, for me personally, they're not as smooth as a stepper valve. Because the stepper valve, I find you can fine tune it so good that you have like a straight suction, a straight uh, superheat in that evaporator. And I see you got stainless steel ones. What, yeah. what, what would these be for? These are our high pressure valves. You mainly see them in transcritical CO2 applications. And um, as example, as flash gas, uh, flash gas valve, as uh, HPV valves for the gas cooler, um, and all the other transcritical applications. And this one is totally new. It will be released in the next weeks. Yeah. Um, this is a completely mountable, one of our smart valves for CO2, also available. Um, I guess 140 bar. Wow, 140 bar, okay. And I noticed you can take this apart. Yeah. That's a huge advantage, because I'm assuming there's a screen maybe inside there to protect the valve, or what's inside there? Let's or if you just need to replace it? Um, it's a complete cartridge. Okay. I can show it uh, in some of our videos or on yeah, the yeah. booth on the other side. You have the complete cartridge with, with the needle. I don't think Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> and then you got some with sight glasses on it as well. Yeah. Uh, not for the CO2 one. Not for the CO2 one? Normally, by at CO2 applications, it's quite a bit difficult mm -hmm. to yeah. see what's inside this application yeah. and to interpret it correctly. Um, that's really tricky with yeah, yeah. science. Oh, for sure. So this is uh, convenient, though, because if something ever happens, you yeah. get a surge of power and it, kill, it kills the valve, maybe, or, or someone doesn't set it up properly. This is the big thing about electronic valves. I trained them for years. And I noticed when, if they're not set up properly, they could drive home too much, which we call it, it's driving to zero percent, but it keeps pushing and pushing and pushing, and it strips the, the gears inside. And this happens with many different manufacturers because it's improperly set up. This is why it's so important to get into the manuals and understand what each parameter does so when you're setting it up, you don't run into that issues. Exactly. Yeah. Because most of the time I've seen valve fails, it's user user issues. Absolutely. Contamination in there, like not cleaning the system properly. Dirt, no, yeah. dirt, no filter dryer, parameters not set up properly. So it's something that you need to be really aware of. And to be honest, these are only the basics. Easy to avoid those problems, just follow the basic rules. Yeah, that's that so true. So I see you got some more valves here. So these ones are uh, all stepper valves across here. All, all stepper valves, starting the smallest one, 100 watts, roughly, going up to uh, uh, 35 kilowatts. Wow. And then we go the whole range through up to the two, two and a half megawatts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at the size of this. This is huge. You got some, what I really like though, you got the sight glasses on there. You can see what's yeah. going on. Man, that's super cool. You can take a look inside here. Yeah, that's that's super cool. Up to two megawatts? Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. So, as you can see, there is a lot to it. But the biggest thing for these is understanding the controllers. The ones that we already talked about. And diving into those manuals is so important. I'm gonna say it time and time again. Read the manuals over and over again and you're gonna learn. Hey, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it. Something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.